This is qualification match number 11 getting underway here with two from each alliance making their way out of the hab. Now three from blue. Can we get the third on red? Yes, we can. They'll break that plane and away we go. Drivers again, either driving with a bit of a blindfold in front of them or the robot operating on pre-programmed instructions there during the sandstorm period. Looking around now, the Blue Alliance driving both machines on back to the Alliance wall. Human players loading up those hatch panels into slots in the sides of the field. The robots can then come scoop these hatch panels up for. They're worth three points apiece if dropped off onto the cargo ship or onto the perimeter rockets. Red Alliance side of the field here, Team Mean Machine quickly starting to assemble the perimeter rocket here in the bottom left corner of the field for the Red Alliance, 24 is 71. They pick up another three points towards the Red Alliance score, currently sitting at 20, just behind the Blue Alliance is 28, with a minute and a half left to play. That difference mostly coming in pure hatch panels here for the Blue Alliance. Bottom right corner of the field, we've got two, four, and working on five, bingo! Hatch panels installed just on that bottom right rocket there for Blue, that last score coming at you from the Cyber Knights. The top right rocket not doing too shabby either. Six points worth of hatch panels installed on that one. But we got some Red Alliance friends coming in to play games now. We got some defense coming from Steel Ridge Robotics. Mostly distraction right now, nothing too violent. Just trying to shake up those cycles, slow them down by just every little bit that they can. With here just a little under a minute left to play. It's now anybody's game. Red Alliance started this one off a little behind, but now they're down by just five. They were down by just three. More cargo making its way in. Now we're starting to populate this bottom left rocket for the Red Alliance. Level one is complete. That's a 10 point level. We've got seven, uh, eight points. And now 10 points total. There for this level two of the bottom left Alliance rocket. Now we're gonna have some defense here. Getting towards the danger zone as far as defense is concerned. As Steel Ridge comes up and runs into this Blue Alliance machine of the Cyber Knights over and over and over again. They do back away before that 20 second buzzer, but whoa! Getting close there as Cyber Knights do finish off that bottom right Blue Alliance rocket. They'll pick up the bonus rank point for Blue and they've got a decisive score lead according to your live score. We'll get your final score tallied up of that exciting match 11 as soon as we can. Defense filled into the match there. Your final score does end in a blue Alliance victory helped in large part by that completed Alliance rocket in the bottom right corner of the field, 76 to 65, just two points shy of our high score from the day so far. And that is a full penalty free unicorn for the blue Alliance there, all four available rank points. And that'll be enough to move Cyber Knights up into the first position, not at all far behind them. The Terra Vikes move up into third and Rain Robotics just outside our top eight there in our ninth position, about a third of the way through our qualification rounds. Red Alliance teams each picking up one rank point towards their average. Team Mean Machine and Steel Ridge moving down just a wee little bit into 11th and 12th, still not a bad place to be.